always know just what to do. Two long ears and button eyes and just my size. Miffy, miffy, oh so true. Me do love you. Miffy at the zoo. One day, Miffy's father had a wonderful idea. It's such a lovely day today, he said to Miffy. I shall take you to the zoo. The zoo? cried Miffy. Hooray! Let's go! But isn't the zoo far away? How will we get there? They went on the train. It was a long train, and it went very fast. Miffy looked out the window until at last the train slowed down and stopped at the zoo station. They got off the train and Father said, Follow me, we'll see many wonderful things inside. They walked along a path. They saw red and green parrots. One said, Hello, Miffy, how are you? Miffy didn't know that parrots could talk. She was very surprised. After that, she saw a strange horse. It wasn't black and it wasn't white, but it was striped all over. That's a zebra, said her father. Look how nice he looks on the green grass. Next they saw a kangaroo. It had a pocket right in front, and in it sat a baby. How practical, thought Miffy. And look, there was an elephant. It was very big, and it had a nose so long it could pick up food right off the ground. And high above, an ape was hanging from a tree branch with just one arm. He swung back and forth and didn't fall. Next, they saw two giraffes. Their necks were so long, Miffy wondered how long it took for the food they ate to reach their stomachs. At last, Miffy had a chance to ride upon a tortoise. I'd like to ride him all the way home, said Miffy. That would take too long, said Father. So they rode home on the train, going very fast. Now Miffy fell asleep dreaming of all the wonders she had seen at the zoo.